Step 4. Navigating in the project. In this step, we will learn the basics of navigation in the different views of the ARCHICAD environment. Switch to the view map of the navigator. Open the Microsoft Hungary Office Building and the Collaboration ITG folders. Activate the first Ground Floor Preset view located in the Chapter 1 folder by double-clicking its name. This displays the floor plan. The scale, zoom factor, layer combination and other settings are restored based on the settings saved with the view. Hold down the middle mouse button or scroll wheel of your mouse. At the moment you push down the middle mouse button, the cursor turned into a hand symbol signaling that you entered the pan mode. When moving the mouse in pan mode, you can drag the view around in the window. Perform panning a few times to familiarize yourself with it. Now, let go of the button and start turning the scroll wheel. As you can see, you can use the mouse's scroll wheel to quickly zoom in and out of any part of the current window. When zooming, the project will zoom in and out such that the position where the mouse cursor is located stays in place. Now, take advantage of these easy-to-use navigation tools and perform some practice zooming and panning. These two functions are available in all viewpoints of the project for fast and easy navigation. Let's try it out. Activate the next Generic Perspective Preset view located in the Chapter 1 folder. The 3D window is opened and the 3D model of the project is generated. Here you can pan and zoom the same way you did in the floor plan window. Now, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and also hold down your mouse's middle button or scroll wheel. The mouse cursor changes to a different cursor shape showing that you have entered the orbit mode. Move your mouse around to orbit around the 3D model. As you can see, you can freely rotate the model in 3D. Do some orbiting to get a general idea of how it behaves. If you are too close to the model, you can zoom out. The model always rotates around the portion that is located in the middle of the 3D window. Therefore, you can pan around the model and then orbit so it is rotated around any desired point. The model can be orbited in any direction, so you can move around it as if you were moving on the surface of a sphere. Spend some time familiarizing yourself with zooming, panning, and orbiting in 3D, and also try using these functions in combinations. In case your mouse does not have a third button, you can switch to the pan and orbit modes by using their buttons in the bottom of the 3D window. The zoom functions can also be activated from there. The 3D project view is also an integrated representation of the virtual building. All the changes you make in the 3D window will be immediately reflected in all other views of the project. The benefits are clear. You save time and can ensure complete coordination between documents. Switch to the next section preset view. A section view opens. Sections, elevations, and interior elevations are generated based on their marker placed on the floor plan. They can be set to be automatically regenerated each time you open their viewpoint. Further, they will be refreshed to show the latest state of the project. If you change a wall in a section, the change will show on the floor plan, in other section and elevations, in 3D and so on. Any change you make to the model on any of the viewpoints will be carried forward automatically to all other model viewpoints. Zoom in and then select any wall in the section by shift clicking it. When any element is selected, the info box shows its settings such as elevation, height, thickness, material and so on. 
When you enter its settings dialog, you can see that all these settings are arranged in logical panels within the dialog. You can change the settings of any element here in the settings dialog, or you can select elements and modify them in the appropriate field of the info box. Now, leave the wall settings dialog by pressing escape on your keyboard, or click the cancel button in the dialog. Activate the next window schedule preset view of the Chapter 1 folder. An interactive schedule comes up showing a list of windows that were created in the project. This schedule is based on the 3D model and always reflects the latest state of the project. It is interactive, which means that if something is changed here, the changes will be reflected in all other viewpoints. The benefits are clear. You save time and are assured complete coordination between all the project views and documents. Activate the last sketch rendering preset view of the Chapter 1 folder. First, the 3D viewpoint opens up, then a rendering window will be shown. This rendering is generated with a so-called sketch style based on the model data of the 3D viewpoint. ARCHICAD has several built-in rendering engines that can help produce high-quality renderings for presentation purposes. We will not, however, be dealing with rendering in this interactive training guide. The ninth chapter of the ARCHICAD Essentials ITG is a good place to familiarize yourself with these capabilities of ARCHICAD. We hope this short introduction helped you realize that the Virtual Building Approach, also called BIM, is an integrated 3D model. In this integrated model, all data comes to and is generated from a building database that always shows the latest state of the project model, no matter which viewpoint you are working on. We also hope you can see the possible advantages this approach has when compared to more traditional workflows and approaches. Now we will begin to actually set up the project and work with it. You will learn about the capabilities of ARCHICAD aimed at making collaboration fun, easy, and efficient.